Good morning. It is a Monday and it's noisy as heck out here this morning, but I'm going to try and talk a little bit. I'm not about to complain. It got down to 43 degrees last night. My peas love it, um, but I'm, I came out to check on these guys because I was worried about my peppers. It's a little too chilly for them, but I'm not complaining because I hear that up in Canada they had frost and it's extremely late for a frost and that could be potentially very devastating. So my heart goes out and prayers for everybody up there because that's sad. Um, but yeah, I came out to check on peas and I haven't filmed. It's Monday, obviously, so I didn't film over the weekend and I just have kind of been trying to adjust to summer, honestly, and having the boys home and all that. Oh no, what happened to my feet? They got too heavy and fell over, of course. Come on, grab on. I suppose I need to pick some of those. I don't have my tripod with me this morning. Hold on. So for like three days now, I've brought in a handful like this. My Ziploc's getting pretty full now, so that's exciting. Oh, the onions are doing something. Oh, look at little seeds. Oh, can you guys see that? Look at them, little bulb seed things. How cool. I wasn't sure how they did this, and I wanted to let them go, because I wanted to get, let them reseed and do a little bit, you know, but that's kind of cool. Just been watching, they turned into these little bulbs that were just like, encased like that. Now they're popping open, and you can see inside. So neat. Good morning. It is summer vacation, so I have no idea what day it is. Anyways, um, <laughs> I've got... Some seeds to plant. We're succession sowing some green beans. I went down a rabbit hole last week um, buying seeds. So I got purple potted green beans. They're a pole bean. Asparagus red noodle beans. And just a Kentucky Wonder pole bean. So we're going to plant some of these today. And um, I did get some other ones. I got some dragon's tongue beans. And what the heck were those? Uh, dragon fire or something like that. The, the, those, those ones were beans that you could eat when they're young. And then you could also leave them on the plant and eat them as a baked bean after they dry out. Bugs everywhere, I'm sorry. Um, but also, we gotta shock the pool real quick before we head back over to the garden because the boys wanna go swimming today and it's been a week since I shocked it, so here we go. Is my homemade uh, chlorine dispenser. Didn't have to buy one. 85 degrees. I like it at 80. 80. But um, I need to add water, so it's gonna be at 80 by the time the boys go in today. But 80 is a really good temperature for it, at least around here. 
Um, but I want to show you guys what I'm using for a heater because this thing cost me $15.99 and it's for farm use. It's for keeping or throwing out five gallon buckets in the wintertime and stuff like that. And for keeping um, your five gallon or your water troughs and stuff like that from freezing in the wintertime. That's what that's for. But I found it on Amazon and I was like, I want that for my pool. Apparently I'm not the only one doing it. I've seen other people do it too, but um, yeah. So I bought that for the pool and it keeps it, obviously it keeps it really warm. So um, it'll get it up to 90 and higher if I let it. So just a thought, if you have a pool and it's not heated, maybe, I think they probably cost more now because I bought mine two years ago. But um, if you have a pool and you want to heat it, cheap way to do it. So, my garden is untamed. I make no apologies and I never will. So, if you don't like my untamed garden, there's plenty of other channels you can watch that have perfectly manicured gardens. But here you will not find that. It's not what I wanted. So, we gotta get this ready for our seeds. I think right here we're gonna do. I'm gonna do the purple, purple potted full beans here. Okay, so, purple potted full beans. These ones just came yesterday. I haven't even looked at the seeds. <laughs> oh, those are interesting. See those? Hey, look at this one. It's a fun little pointy like shape. <laughs> right, um, it says three to four inches apart. I'm gonna do that and then. I don't know how many I just planted, like eight, something like that. I'm gonna cover it with straw just so I have everything else since it's so dry this year. So there's our purple potted pole bean. Next, we'll do our asparagus, red noodle beans, and then our Kentucky beans, and that will go on our last trellis over here. On this side, next to our Kajari melon, we'll do the asparagus. So, for my reference, um, you know, I'm really finding like I really like having a video journal of where I put things, what I did last year. I've gone back and looked at last year now three different times for things, and I really like that. So if the internet ever goes bye-bye, I'm going to have to There's a worm. I'm actually going to relocate him into one of my new beds. So he can populate it. Alright, so I red noodle beans in here. 
I'm literally touching nettles over here while I'm doing this. It's no fun at all. Fingers are stinging now. There's one right here I should pull out. Okay, so red noodle beans right next to Kajari melon. Danielle, for your reference, anyways. <laughs> pole beans, Kentucky pole beans right here. Right here in the tree, basically. Cover that in straw, call it good. Funny story, I uh, turned on my sprinkler yesterday and went downstairs, started cleaning, and got lost. It was on for two hours. The ground is incredibly saturated and wet over here. Just gonna throw this straw down. I'm pretty sure all this stuff is gonna be just fine and it's gonna grow without water right now because the ground is still very, very wet. Whoops. Anyways, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Really appreciate you being here with me. Uh -huh.